Hello guys, so in this video I will go through the types of data and a way to represent them. There are two types of data, qualitative and quantitative. Qualitative data is any data that cannot be measured. So for example, if I talk about a uh, color of a person's shirt, right? So since I cannot exactly measure the person's shirt color, then it's an example of a qualitative data. But on the other hand, if I talk about that same person's height, since I can measure that person's height, then that will be a quantitative data. Um, then again, there are two types of quantitative data, discrete and continuous. Discrete data is any data that can be counted and continuous data is a, uh, is a data that cannot be counted. So for example, if I talk about um, the marks I scored in an exam, so since i can count my own marks then that's a discrete data or you know if i can count my shoe size then that's a discrete data but on the same hand if we take the same example the example of a height then we are continuously growing right uh, height or let's say the amount of time i took to take an exam it's it, you cannot exactly count them they are in a limited range right so they are examples of continuous data okay so a way to represent data is stem and leaf diagram right so let's talk about a stem and leaf diagram stem and leaf diagram is basically used to um, represent a limited a small amount of discrete data right so let's look at a picture of a tree so when you look at this picture of a tree you can see that one stem this is the one stem and this one stem has multiple leaves right so this one stem has three leaves and this one stem has one two three four four leaves so we can obviously see that one stem can have multiple leaves right but one leaf only has one stem so that means that there can only be one number over here right it doesn't matter if it's a two digit number three digit number but there can only be one value over here in the stem section However, in the leaf section, we can have various numbers because one stem can have multiple leaves, right? So let's just erase this real quick. Okay, so another thing to remember in a stem and leaf diagram is basically that you cannot have a two or three, you can have a two or three digit number in a in the stem section but you cannot have a two or three digit number in the leaf section you must only have a one digit number in a leaf section what i mean by this is that if we have the following set of values for example if we have um 73 46 20 22 then oops sorry for that then what we basically do is first of all let's look at our minimum value which is 20 right so we will write 2 in our stamp section right and then the our ones digit comes in the leaf section so zero will come in our leaf section since we have another value that have two in its tens this is ones and this is called the ten, this is called the tens right so since we have another value that has two in its tens then we will write that in the same stem so 20 and 22 and then we have 46 so 40 the tens digit will come in the stem section and the six the ones digit will come in the leaf section in the same way when we consider 73 then the tens value the seven will come in the stem section and since three is the ones digit then it will come in the leaf section and generally we have to make a key over here indicating what this actually means so when you write two slash zero it means 20 for this particular stem and leaf diagram right if i write two slash three then that means 23 for this particular stem and leaf diagram but you only have to write one um one key so two slash zero means 20 will be enough 
right but what if we had a number like a data set like for example let's say 1.76 2.20 3.4 1.49 so let's say we have the following data set right then what we basically do is um let me just make another stem and leaf diagram over here okay so what we will do here is that since we can only write one digit in the leaf section then we write the last digit in the leaf section so six so the first two digits will automatically come in the stem sections now in the stem section we cannot write 1.7 so what we will instant instead write is 17 right 17 is the smallest value no 14 is um let's just erase this so 14 and then nine and then seven, so the first two digits of 1.49 came in the stem section and the last digit came in the leaf section right the same thing will happen here the first two digit of 1.76 so 17 will come in the stem section and 6 will come in the leaf section in the same way the first two digits of 2.20 will come in the stem section so 22 and 0 will go in the leaf section same goes for this 3.48 i think so 34 and then 8 comes in the leaf section for example if we had another value over here which was 1.4 sorry 1.7 so let's say this value was uh, this value was 1.79 so with 6 we would have also written comma 9 so this means that this particular data set contains 1.76 and 1.79 and then we make a key over here indicating that 14 slash 9 doesn't really mean 149 but it means 1.49 so that whoever is reading the table will know how to exactly read it right so we also have another type of um, stem and leaf diagram which is a back-to-back -back stem and leaf diagram so in that particular stem and leaf diagram we have two sets of values and then we look at them simultaneously i'll just show you a past paper question okay so this is what a back-to-back -back stem and leaf diagram looks like so you can see that there are leaves on both sides of the stem so this right here is our stem while these are our leaves mm, sorry leaves this is also our leaves so this is what a back-to-back um, stem and leaf diagram is called and it's basically used to compare two sets of datas